Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this helps you start a new week, start a new form of expression, start a new form of application, a new week. The word new is really hanging in the air, literally, and pick it up and become that new expression of self. And don't deal with the same concerns in the same manner and feel trapped or limited or lacking or being stopped. Listen, listen to your inner self. And it's not just about using again one application of inner self. If today you feel inclined to start that visualization, that prayer, that uses images, go ahead and do that. If your feelings are calling and asking for your attention, pay attention to them. If your thoughts are conflicted and confused and you want direction and you want peace, you just want a sense of relaxation and peace in general, acknowledge that. You're not incorrect in asking for that and definitely for demanding that. <laughs> Because peace is what has been lacking in your life of late. You've had more questions than answers. You've had more responsibilities than presents that have been coming your way, than wishes that have been granted. You just feel like you're just struggling and just working for nothing. No, you're not working for nothing. You, your efforts are definitely acknowledged and important. Important to who? The Divine Ones. And the Divine Ones will make their presence known this day. Ask for signs as you go through this day. Just because a mighty Divine Father is there doesn't mean that you don't get your Guardian Angel touching or holding or speaking to you in some manner. So ask for that support system, you can say, that knowing of course, it'll then make you want to do more. Because see the words. It's saying you're going into your true self, moving past the darkness. So whatever problem you're dealing with, whatever situation you currently have, whatever form of body you're in, wherever you're physically staying, and you're not happy with that, instead of complaining, think about it as a gift that you have in the moment. And you're on this boat that is taking to a larger yacht. Let's put it that way. Now, why was I quiet for a moment? Where did your eye go first of all in this image? That's exactly where your attention is and where most of your higher self wants understanding and the application of all of this energy to go, first of all, foremost, you can say, it goes right there. That doesn't mean that the rest of this message is ignored. It just comes to you at the time that it's needed, when it's needed and how it's needed. You cannot go wrong. You're, you're in the process of ascension. Now, don't get afraid by this word also, ascension. Ascension doesn't mean physical death in any way or physical harm. Ascension is talking about your higher self and your spiritual self coming more and more as a physical application, you can say, in a physical knowing in your everyday life. More of your connection with the Divine Ones and your Divine Self is becoming more and more apparent to you and it's becoming more practical, you can say. You're learning how to apply it. This knowledge is not just sitting there for nothing. It's not just there in books, and it's not just supposed to be just sitting there in the Akashic Records. You have learned how to bring it into your everyday. Rejoice with that fact and that knowing. Now, looking at the different symbols that are helping you this day, first and foremost, the Divine Father, Serapis Bay who was a priest in ancient Egypt, has come to help mankind with this process right now, especially to connect with the Akashic Records. 
for first and foremost the knowledge and also the devi ma saraswati ma is also with us saraswati ma te is of the hindu religion so you have both male and female though she is not pictured here many might feel her and say why is she coming up don't question that that's why you have left and right that's the masculine and feminine side of the knowledge this time it's not past and present and we're not talking about all of that it's how to just balance all of the knowing the masculine attributes and the feminine feeling the empathy and in the middle this red beautiful orb is the orb literally of the tree of life that's connecting you back to the tree of life the cosmic tree of life just standing there you can say in the center of the universe with all attributes of your life every single ray of light you can think of is coming here and if it doesn't work and if it's troublesome and it's just you can say roaming around your thoughts more than bringing you any physical sense of fulfillment or peace relaxation or satisfaction then put it into this orb of life and transmute it transmute it means it's not getting destroyed it's getting changed molded into a better form so it can function better for you now all that of course again sounds esoteric what does that mean for me let's just say you have a troublesome tv or you have, you have a troublesome computer that you're listening to this from or the, or the headphones and ask for them to be molded back into a state of functioning what will they do they'll function put them into this orb of light yes you can and ask for that to be showcased to you and archangel gabriel who's in charge of all electronics by the way will come forward so choose an electronic that's an easiest the it's the easiest way it's an easy functioning of the light but then you will of course understand how these rays of light are just pouring down with such passion all over the world the universe right now really that's what's behind him those wings are the wings of the seraphim angels who are ensuring that this golden white light pours down all of humanity all of universe all of creation wherever you want to feel it and where you want to send it really into a situation into a place past present future can now come and now you say which one is the past and which one is the future the past is releasing all that you want to leave behind finally letting it go forgetting about it transmuting it making peace with it today is really the day to rise above all of that to not remain stuck bound in any way you're stopping your own sense of peace and be- belonging and fulfillment from coming to you don't do that to yourself and then the right side can be how you choose to rise above all that you thought was ho- holding you back all this time example we go back to that simple example of the phone or the tv or the computer when the computer did not work you did not fix it but you kept on getting bound by that and worried by that now that you fixed it you can do 10000 more things on that computer that you could not before but you chose to do that you chose to use this orb of life and find a new way to apply life into your practical everyday and say yes spirituality and the practical everyday can actually be merged can be melded can be friends they're meant to be 
The light is supposed to flow through you at all points. When it does not, that's the reason to find out what is going on that is preventing me from enjoying this day, from feeling fulfilled and happy. Why am I still inviting that? Whatever I'm still inviting. Look into Master Serapis Bay's eyes. What is it that I'm inviting into this day that is making me feel this lack of of fulfillment and peace? Why am I still worried about? Why am I still dealing with? Go ahead. Raise all your concerns. Don't hold back. Don't think you're childish or stupid in asking the same thing 20,000 times. The Divine Ones know the precious body you're in and how much you're dealing with. They're proud of you for that for trusting them and for being here. Just look into his eyes and merge with those cosmic eyes. Maybe your eyes will take on a fresh sense of perception again. Again, you'll be able to look and see things around you, things within you, things ahead of you, things you're planning on with a different eyesight, literally. And your cosmic eye will open your ability to perceive the planets, to perceive the Ascended Masters, the Goddesses, even crystals or symbols will take on a different meaning for you altogether. The light is here. This cannot be said enough. Keep on seeing this throughout the day. It will have different meaning for you at different times. Because it seems very esoteric otherwise. Move into your true self. What does that mean for me? Take a moment to look into his eyes. And then take a journey on that beautiful golden shining headrest. With all those lines. The lines are the various parts of your spiritual journey. Where are you right now? What is it that you need to know? Write it down if you need to. Speak it to yourself if you need to. Take out cards if you need to. Invocations, prayers. However it is that is meaningful to you. Do not listen to anyone anyone else's perception of what the golden journey is supposed to be. It will be unique. But when you have your grasp, you can say, of your journey. Then you will know where you are on the pathway and you'll get onto the proper road with peace. Peace. Peace is basically the main essence of this day. What the Divine Ones finally want you to have every day without fail, more easily, more effortlessly and with a greater grasp of where it is that you are on this pillar of peace. Never blaming yourself but just finding the way back, you can say. Oh, this is the doorway. It's not door A, it's door B. That's fine. At least you found out what works for you, what does not work for you. And if you see his robe... It's absolute white, but on the top, such a huge crystalline necklace, you can say, he's wearing. Filled with all forms of the crystal. This is your ability to express again using the power of the Sujalite crystals and clear quartz to bring that energy into all the words you use, all forms of communication that you engage in this day can have this energy because he's he's wearing it also as defense, as knowledge, as confidence, as a sense of knowing, of enhancement of all that is good. All forms of manifestation are aided with this process, the step-by-step process, can be really, really enhanced this day. Why? Because then if you see also on the left and right side, he's wearing 
purple, indigo, ray infused crystals that become sugilite crystals under the care again also of Archangel Michael. So a sense of confidence, remaining focused. Now left and right again, whether it's past or present for you, masculine or feminine, which one needs to be enhanced? Where's your focus really going? That's fine. It's unique to you. No one is here at the left or right side of him that is watching the steps you take. The steps you take are the steps you take to go forward. Forward where? To the better expression of yourself, your higher self. That which is written in your Akashic spaces, but maybe even you don't dare. It's so overwhelming to see yourself in your divine form that you don't dare to even express, saying, no, it's never going to be accepted on earth. Leave all that perception aside this day. Just choose to be you. Fulfillment, peace, expression, love, compassion will all flow. Because the landscape behind him is full of pure and golden white light. Nothing else. And it's just pouring and pouring and pouring in waves and waves into that orb. Call it as much as you need it. If you're weak, if you feel dominated, if you feel confused or you lack direction, the peace that you seek, you don't even know what you want to ask for. I just seek fulfillment. Just knowing, just being. Just being present in the present moment. Let me just go from moment to moment, if nothing else. Just to rise above this self-created misery. That's the first thing you can do for yourself. Is stop blaming someone else for your concerns. You know what you need. And you know how to express yourself. You know how to invite the best To yourself, you know how to invite your guardians, your guardian angels, and all the divine ones for various purposes of your life. Manifestations, this is the best time to not not lose focus. That's why I go quiet from moment to moment. What is coming up through your heart? Just let it come up as a surge of energy. Expression, words, visions feeling, whatever it is. The feeling that someone is speaking into your ear. That's why his ears are also connected to this headrest. That sense of balance and peace is being restored in every way through you as you perceive it this day, invite it. Don't even think about how it's coming. Oh, I'm usually visual, but it's coming through my ears. It's coming through sound. That's okay. That means you're being told you have more than one branch of your tree that is shining right now. How nice for you, right? Receiving more and more from the heavenly arms in different ways. That's why the sense of balance is also being restored right there in the third eye. That symbol, you can use that symbol to balance anything that you are literally looking at. Physically, emotionally, mentally even. This visual will be one filled with the light, with confidence, with strength, with power, with knowing of why it's been revealed to you and how to co-create that reality which you do want to be revealed to you. And of course, your heart will be swelling with love and compassion and care that is just pouring into you. Helping that glow to be maintained. You don't have to do anything special to invite that glow. In fact, if you look back into your face, at the end of the day, having engaged with all of these symbols and the powers that be, the divine ones, you will have that glow both within and around you. Protected, 
guided, moving, creating, and just being. Enjoyment, complete enjoyment. You've risen above the darkness and, of course, the light. Everywhere you look over here will be some form of the light, some expression of the light, allowing you to feel and be a true divine child as you're meant to be in every way. And this comes to you superbly from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb way that the golden white rays and all the expressions of heaven pour through as emanations of the light come through the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now and we meet again tomorrow. Keep ascending, keep co-creating. And keep finding more of your higher self. And very soon, your daily life will not just be physical, but heavenly. So bye for now.